It's amazing all the wonderful things we as simply humans can learn from animals. We wouldn't have come this far without closely observing them. For example, early civilizations learned how to hunt through watching other non-human creatures stalk and subdue their dinner, and engineers used a bird's flight in their wings as inspiration in designing the first ways for humans to take to the air. Even insect nests inspire architecture and buildings around the globe. But imagine what these intelligent creatures are learning from us. You're not gonna believe this. We have gaming pigs, honey badger Houdinis, and birds that sing Beyonce. And would you buy art that was painted by a horse? Here are 15 moments of animal genius that will amaze you. Number 15. Huge Duck Herding At a farm in central Thailand, an army of 10,000 ducks is moving through. Rice farmers in Thailand are enlisting these birds for help. They're called field chasing ducks, and the release of the field flooding ducks is part of a long-standing tradition in the region. In fact, they're used by rice farmers to clean their field of pests. Rice is one of Thailand's most important crops. From January to August of any given year, the country exports more than 4 million tons of it. Field chasing ducks are often a breed called Khaki Campbell, known for its reliable egg laying. When they're 20 days old, ducks are brought to the fields and get to graze in large herds as they're moved from farm to farm. Per year, there were about 30 million ducks farmed throughout Thailand, and almost a quarter of them were field chasing ducks. The deal rids the farms of pests such as cherry snails, apple snails, weeds, and other small pests while providing a rich source of nutrients for the water birds. The ducks roam the region's paddies for about five months before being mustered back to the duck farm to produce eggs for up to three years, a mutually beneficial relationship. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly! Number 14. Do We Read More Books? This inspiring story of the Spencer Library Cat is a great one. It was a half-frozen kitten who was discovered in the book drop one winter morning in 1988. Library staff, finding him next morning after hearing his whimpering and having warmed him up while he purred the whole time, decided they would like to adopt him as a library cat. And this was one of those kittens that turned out to be social, outgoing, and affectionate who could thrive in a public setting. He became a goodwill ambassador and official greeter. He had special relationships with the staff, yet easily mingled amongst many people, friends and strangers alike. He greeted patrons at the front desk, regularly attended every library meeting, and even enjoyed functions in the presence of 250 people or more. Staff kept a camera handy to record his antics and adventures over the years. It could be an example of the ways cats can adapt to the needs and responsibilities of their circumstances. While nature offers certain traits, it's nurture which brings them out. Without the abundant love and acceptance he encouraged throughout his life, Dewey would not have been able to assume his duties as library cat. Number 13. Video Game Playing Pigs Researchers taught four pigs to manipulate a joystick with their snouts. Moving a cursor on a screen around to reach one of up to four target walls, past studies have established that pigs are capable of various types of learning from simple obedience commands like come and sit to more complex behaviors. One study even demonstrated that pigs could use mirrors to help them find hidden food within an enclosure, while another revealed that pigs can use tools. Researchers worked with two Yorkshire pigs named Hamlet and Omelette and two Panapinto micro pigs, Ebony and Ivory. In the first part of the experiment, the researchers used treats to train the animals to approach and manipulate a joystick set in front of a computer monitor by pushing it with their snouts. Building on this, the four pigs were next taught to play a video game displayed on the screen, in which the goal was to use the joystick to maneuver a cursor towards up to four targets. And incredibly, each of the four pigs displayed some conceptual understanding of both the game and the connection between the movement of the joystick control and the cursor. This was despite the fact that pigs are far-sighted animals with no opposable thumbs, a feat which the animal behavior experts called remarkable. Number 12. Incredible Pika Winter Survival Pikas are found in North America and Asia. They're pint-sized, rodent-like mammals that look like a cross between a guinea pig and a rabbit, and often associated with Pikachu, the Pokemon which has a similar name. 
Plateau pikas live in high altitude meadows up to 16,400 feet above sea level. They don't hibernate or migrate to warmer climates during winter, so exactly how they survive the cold was a mystery. So researchers monitored plateau pikas for 13 years using various techniques such as filming the creatures and implanting temperature logging devices into the animals. And wouldn't you know it, pikas living at high altitudes in Asia eat yak poop to help them survive winter. The small rabbit-like animals can't hibernate through winter when food is scarce, so they slow their metabolism and eat yak poop to get by on these Tibetan plateaus where temperatures fall to minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit. Unlike some other cold weather animals, pikas can't rely on blubber, winter weight gain, or sleeping through the cold months. Such poop eating or coprophagy can help animals absorb nutrients they couldn't digest initially from their food, but eating the feces of other species is relatively rare. Number 11. Kanzi the Genius, the world's most famous bonobo chimp turned 40, and what a life this intelligent primate has lived. Featured by National Geographic and the Smithsonian Institution, He's jammed on piano with musicians like Peter Gabriel and Paul McCartney, interacted with CNN reporters Anderson Cooper, and even appeared on The Oprah Winfrey Show. When Kanzi was an infant, researchers tried to teach his mother, Matata, to communicate using a keyboard labeled with geometric symbols. Kanzi, during his mother's teaching sessions, picked up the language. The symbols referred to familiar objects like yogurt, key, tummy, or bowl favorite activities like games of chase or tickle, and even some concepts considered fairly abstract like now or bad. One example, in an outing in the woods in Georgia, Kanzi touched the symbols for marshmallows and fire. So Kanzi snapped twigs for a fire, lit them with the matches, and toasted the marshmallows on a stick. Who wouldn't want to roast marshmallows with a chimp? Bonobos are closely related to chimpanzees and are found in the wild only in the Democratic Republic of Congo in Africa. They're among humans' closest relatives. Kanzi continues to participate in cognitive and behavioral studies run by researchers all over the world. Number 10. Black Heron Shady Hunting We hate to ruin the fun for you, but this heron was not actually playing a game. They're hunting for dinner. Most of the time, black herons look like your typical wading bird. Long legs, long necks, long beaks. But when it's time to eat, this jet black African species has a pretty nifty trick up its wings. While fishing, the bird will tuck its head down, spread its wings around its body, and create a sunshade of sorts, canopy feeding creating a nice shady spot for the fish to relax in. Who doesn't love a little shade? As the fish moves into this shady location, the black heron scoops down and gulps up their nice tasty meal. While some herons prefer to hunt on their own, most enjoy the company of others while they dine. On average, they'll hunt in groups of 50 individuals. However, the largest flock of black herons on record is 200. That's one large dinner party. The black heron occurs patchily through sub-Saharan Africa from Senegal and Sudan to South Africa, but is found mainly on the eastern half of the continent and in Madagascar. It has only been observed in Greece and Italy. It prefers shallow, open waters, such as the edges of freshwater lakes and ponds, in marshes, river edges, rice fields, and seasonally flooded grasslands. Number 9. Natasha's Stunning Intelligence This amazing chimp has astounded researchers with her ability to manipulate situations and communicate with others and her species in a way they've never seen before. It's widely thought that social intelligence is what really sets humans apart from primates, but scientists may have to rethink that view after being introduced to Natasha the Chimp Genius. She's learned to escape from her enclosure, teases humans, and scores above other chimps in communication tests. Apes have their geniuses too. Her remarkable behavior has been analyzed by a team of researchers in Germany, which has, for the first time, been able to show that some chimps intuitively understand social situations far better than others. The researchers studied the abilities of the groups of captive apes from tool use to social learning and communication. Natasha's scores went off the scale. At feeding time, the 22-year-old primate has learned to clap her hands loudly in the hope of gaining attention and extracting more food from her caretakers. She's also developed a reputation of playful antics. One trick she enjoyed pulling off was beckoning visitors toward her and then dousing them with water at the Ugandan Wildlife Sanctuary on Ngamba Island, where she used to live. Number 8. Tilly's Incredible Survival Dogs are pretty smart as a species in general, but no breed can beat the Border Collie in intelligence. 
These bright pooches were bred to be independent problem solvers capable of solving complex tasks. This genius story begins in Idaho when a border collie named Tilly was in his family's vehicle when there was an accident. Everyone was fine except Tilly was nowhere to be found and has fled the scene immediately following the incident, prompting an immediate search that lasted about 10 hours. The family posted all over social media with a picture of Tilly and thousands of people shared the post. The search was on. That's when another family recognized the dog in the photo was the same dog they saw on their family farm. The dog had indeed fled, but afterwards he did what he naturally knew what to do. Tilly had been seen herding sheep nearby. The dog who had vanished for two days after being rejected from the vehicle was found apparently doing the job it was bred to do, their natural sheep herders. Border collies make particularly good herders thanks to their independence and intelligence. The need to herd is so deeply ingrained in these dogs that some modern owners actually rent sheep for their pets to corral. Number 7. Parrot Sings Beyonce No wonder this Beyonce belting birdie went viral. It's a parrot singing Beyonce. The reshares have been off the roof. Parrots are vocal birds, and many species likely imitate for different reasons. When parrots are kept as pets, they learn their cause from their adoptive human social partners. Part of this appeal as pets is their ability to sing lower notes than smaller birds and so better reproduce human voices, like the queen bee. Imitative vocal learning is also a reliable social display of neural functions, requiring good hearing, memory, and muscle control for sound production. This bird's got all that. The parrot's name is Chico from Lincolnshire Wildlife Park in England, and he does an amazing cover of If I Were a Boy, Beyonce's hit song released in 2008. And if a bird singing a Beyonce song doesn't attract a mate, Chico can sing other classics, including Crazy by Narls Barkley and Poker Face by Lady Gaga, as well as Katy Perry's 2010 smash hit Firework. If you know anything about Beyonce fans, aka the Beehive, you know this is the kind of video that gets that hive buzzing. The people at the zoo line up to have a listen. Number 6. Incredible Painting Horse after being tamed at the age of five, this horse was bought by Rene Chambers, a trained ballerina who succeeded in gaining his trust. Many years later, his ability to paint was discovered by chance. Chola, the horse, started painting in May of 2004. And according to Rene, she says, The idea came from my husband. While I was painting the fence, he yelled, Why don't you get that horse to paint that fence? An artist was born. He showed will, awareness, intention, and pleasure when he painted his abstract strokes straight or curved. This behavior has been studied by scientists and ethologists and is extraordinary because Chola was never trained to do this and was a semi-wild horse. He paints with high-quality watercolors on cold-pressed high-end paper and reproductions are printed with a six-color printing process using archival inks on archival watercolor paper. Chola's paintings were shown in local exhibits in the United States and he received international media exposure when his owner sent one of his earlier artworks to a painting competition in Italy. The horse was awarded an honor mention of the jury and the artwork was exhibited together in a group show. Nicely done, Chulo! Number 5. Alex the African Grey Before this bird lover slash doctor began her studies with Alex, birds weren't considered to be intelligent animals. They have walnut-sized brains. In fact, the term bird brain was often used as an insult. However, Dr. Pepperberg's studies completely changed minds as she demonstrated the capabilities of the African Grey Parrot. She purchased Alex, an acronym for Avian Learning Experiment, from a pet store when he was about 12 to 13 months old. Alex was taught to recognize a variety of colors, objects, materials, and actions, and he possessed a vocabulary of over 100 words to identify them with. He knew at least 50 individual objects and could count quantities of up to six. As time progressed, Alex became more adept in his knowledge. He would even correct his trainers at times if they made mistakes in conversation. He would practice words on his own as well, and in his later years, he would also act as Pepperberg's assistant. It was then that his cheeky personality would shine through the most. By the time of his death in 2007, Alex had amassed a variety of skills thought beyond animal reasoning, proving that some birds' intelligence is on par with that of dolphins and primates. Number 4. Houdini Honey Badger You may have heard about the normally less than sweet honey badger and has the Guinness Book of World Records title of world's most fearless creature because they need to be exceptionally tough to survive and also because they're very smart. 
this famous honey badger Houdini named Stoffel from Moholoho Wildlife Rehabilitation Center in South Africa was infamous for escaping his enclosures. Stoffel the honey badger attempted multiple escapes from his enclosure, famously captured on camera using the help of the females at hand. As you can tell by the next level escape, these badgers are also incredibly gifted at problem solving. In fact, they pay really close attention in captivity to their handlers and will try and remember what unlocking looks like, then try to repeat the behavior themselves, often recruiting other badgers for help. It's a kind of badger trial and error, and it often works. But badgers on the loose can wreak havoc on nature preserves, as these little beasts love to scrap and are also pretty vicious carnivores. Stoffel was brought here where he was allowed to roam free, however he caused havoc in the rehab center, killing small bucks, rabbits, and even an adult tawny eagle. So they built Stoffel a honey badger Alcatraz after the famous prison. Number 3. Crow's Tool Production This species of crow possesses highly flexible abilities that allow them to solve complex problems. The New Caledonian crows from the South Pacific became famous as the first animal shown to be able to create a hooked tool by bending a pliable material. These birds can create long-reaching tools out of short pants that combine together. Turning different components into functional tools has, until now, only been observed in apes. But this crow is giving apes a run for their money. A famous experiment featuring Betty the crow showed the bird bending a straight piece of wire into a hook to fish out a morsel of meat stuffed in a narrow plastic tube. The feat was held as proof that the New Caledonian crow could invent new tools on the spot, a rare ability among non-human animals. And a study published a dozen years later found that more than a dozen wild-caught crows also broke off small branches and fashioned them into tiny hooks with their beaks leading some researchers to conclude this ability is hardwired into the crow's brain. The study demonstrates that this species of crow possesses abilities that allow them to solve complex problems using objects that they've never seen before. A Crow DIY Number 2. Bisons That Vote After becoming nearly extinct, more and more European bison, which can grow up to 2,200 pounds, are being released throughout Europe where they're allowed to wander at will on reserves. But did you know they have a democratic, bison-friendly approach to major bison decisions? Think hive mind, but more herd mind. Imagine it like this. Every few years, Americans in major cities elect a mayor. The process is relatively straightforward. We vote and the candidate who carries the majority wins. It turns out that European bison operate by majority rule. These individuals cast a vote for the direction they would like to move by orienting their bodies. If they want to graze in a meadow, they face the meadow. If they'd rather drink because they're thirsty, they turn toward a water hole. Anyone can initiate a movement, although adult females typically garner the largest number of followers. If the initiator advances in the direction preferred by most herd members, the group follows. If the initiator chooses a less popular option, few follow and the group might split for a brief period. In essence, the bison with the most votes wins and ends up leading most of the herd. There is very little debate and the best course of action is taken. Number 1. Raccoon Climbs Skyscraper It's no wonder crowds gathered outside a building after this caught their attention. A raccoon climbing a building in St. Paul, Minnesota. It's hard to figure out whether you should be afraid or cheer the brave raccoon on. And as you can see, they're naturally good at this sort of thing. The raccoon spent almost 20 hours scaling the office tower. So how does this kind of climb even happen? It's a mixture of instinct and anatomy for the raccoon, whose natural instinct says climb. They have sharp nails, long fingers and toes, perfect for getting a grip on things. Their paws even rotate 180 degrees, so they can climb down headfirst easily. Though raccoons are more than happy to make themselves at home in populated cities, they can be vicious when approached by humans. As with any wild animal, everyone should be particularly cautious of approaching raccoons because they're common carriers of rabies, and most experts do not recommend having a raccoon as a pet. People still feed them like birds and even develop friendly relationships with the wild animals. However, no matter how unusual and scary as it might have looked to us, the daredevil raccoon was safely rescued after leaving the internet gasping, scaling a 23-floor building.